All right, so as we proceed on our concept, the next one we'll be looking at our uh, concept in orthopedics. Next one we'll be looking at is the concept of goniometer. So once you look at uh, the word goniometer, you get to see that this goniometer is actually an instrument. So we'll talk about this instrument from the definition to the different types of goniometer, to the uses of goniometer and how goniometer works, okay? I will close that chapter. So for the definition, we said that this goniometer is actually an instrument which is used to measure angles, particularly in the fields of what? Medicine, physical therapy, and engineering, okay? So uh, what are some key points that we should note about goniometer? Uh, for the types, knowing the types of goniometer is important. You see, they use it to measure angles. So let me say, for example, in orthopedics now, if your patient is having some stiffness, muscle stiffness or bone stiffness, you want to now take the goniometer and measure how, measure the angle at which the, 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 the patient can actually want move that limb. You get so for the types of goniometer, we have universal goniometer. It's the most common type and it's used to what? Measure the range of motion in joints. Okay. So it comes in what? Short hand and a long arm version for different sizes. Okay. So this the picture you see here is a universal goniometer. All right. Then we have the gravity goniometer or inclinometer. This one uses gravity to measure angles. And it's often used for joint movement assessment. How about software or smartphone-based goniometer? This one utilizes smartphone apps to measure angles, all right, using the phone's accelerometer. Like, I have one in my iPhone, okay? I can even measure length. I have a ruler, I have a goniometer, and all of that, okay? So then we have the atrodial goniometer. This one is used for measuring what? Cervical spine movements. Twin axis electrogoniometer. This one provides high interrata and intrarata what reliability and it's often used in research settings. Okay. Now, compiling the uses now, um, classifying the uses, it could be for medical or physical therapy. So you can use goniometer to access the range of motion and track the progress in rehabilitation when you are rehabilitating a patient. Uh, in engineering and ergonomics, you use goniometer to evaluate body posture and joint movement in work environments. For research, you can use it to study joint mechanics or movement patterns, okay? So how does the goniometer work? A typical goniometer usually consists of uh, two arms, all right? So these two arms can be adjusted to align with the body parts that is being measured, okay? So the angle between the arms is then read off a scale. Not really only the arms, it could be the legs too, just like this, okay? So you now read off the scale here, all right? Read off the scale here, okay? So read it off the scale, um, it will provide what an accurate measurement of the joint range of motion, all right? So that's it for goniometer, definition, types, uses, and how it works.